The Muslim conquest of the Iberian Peninsula took place under the rule of the Umayyad Caliphate, beginning in 711, when they landed at Gibraltar, and ending in 717, when they crossed the Pyrenees. The conquest resulted in the destruction of the Visigothic Kingdom and the establishment of the independent Emirate of Cordoba under Abd al-Rahman I, who completed the unification of Muslim-ruled Iberia, or Al-Andalus. The conquest marks the westernmost expansion of both the Umayyad Caliphate and Muslim rule into Europe. After the fall of the Western Roman Empire in 476, the Teutonic tribe of Visigoths ended up ruling the whole peninsula, until the Islamic conquest. During that time, they pushed another Teutonic tribe out, the Vandals, and conquered another one, the Suevi. It is frequently stated in historical sources that Hispania was one of the former Roman provinces, where the Latin language and culture grew deep roots. After the fall of the empire, the Visigoths continued the tradition by becoming probably the most Romanized of all Teutonic tribes. On April 38, 711, Muslim forces, commanded by Tariq bin Ziyad, disembarked at Gibraltar with an army consisting of Berbers, natives from northwestern Africa. According to the Arab chronicle in Abd al Hakam, in 711, Tariq bin Ziyad was leading an approximately 1,700 strong raiding force from North Africa to Southern Spain. However, 12,000 seems a more accurate figure. In Abd al Hakam reports, one and a half centuries later, that the people of Andalus did not observe them, thinking that the vessels crossing and recrossing were similar to the trading vessels which for their benefit plied backwards and forwards. They defeated the Visigothic army, led by King Roderick, in a decisive battle at Guadalete, in 712. Tariq's forces were then reinforced by those of his superior, the Vali Musa bin Nusayr, and both took control of most of Iberia with an army estimated at approximately 10,000 to 15,000 combatants. The Umayyad army was made up mainly of Berbers who had themselves only recently came under Muslim influence. It is likely that this army represented a continuation of a historic pattern of large-scale raids into Iberia dating to the pre-Islamic period, and because of that, it has been suggested that actual conquest was not originally planned. Both the Chronicle of 754 and later Muslim sources speak of raiding activity in previous years. Tariq's army may have been present for some time before the decisive battle. It has been argued that this possibility is supported by the fact that the army was led by a Berber and the Musa, who was the Umayyad governor of North Africa, only arrived the following year. The governor had not stepped to lead a mere raid, but hurried across once the unexpected triumph became clear. The Chronicle of 754 states that many townspeople fled to the hills rather than defend their cities, which might support the view that this was expected to be a temporary raid, rather than a permanent change of government. It is believed that Roderick had been killed and a crushing defeat would have left the Visigoths largely leaderless and disorganized. In this regard, the ruling Visigoth population is estimated at a mere 1 to 2% of the total population, which on one hand led to a reasonably strong and effective instrument of government. However, it was highly centralized to the extent that the defeat of the royal army left the entire land open to the invaders. The resulting power vacuum, which may have indeed caught Tariq completely by surprise, would have aided the Muslim conquest in a decisive way. Indeed, it may have been equally welcome to the Hispano-Roman peasants who were disillusioned by the prominent legal, linguistic and social divide between them and the barbaric and decadent Visigoth royal family. In 714, Musa bin Nusayr headed northwest up to the Ebro river to overrun the western Basque regions and the Cantabrian mountains all the way to Galicia, with no relevant or attested opposition. During the period of Arab governor Abdelaziz bin Musa, 
714 to 716, the principal urban centers of Catalonia surrendered. In 714, his father, Musa bin Musair, advanced and overran Soria, the western Basque regions, Valencia, and as far west as Gijón or León, where a Berber governor was appointed with no relevant or attested opposition. The northern areas of Iberia drew little attention to the conquerors and were hard to defend when taken. The high western and central subterranean valleys remained unconquered. When the Umayyad troops reached Pamplona, the Basque towns submitted after a compromise was negotiated with Arab commanders. To respect the town and its inhabitants, a practice that was common in many towns of the Iberian Peninsula. For the most part, the Muslim troops met little resistance. Considering that era's communication capabilities, three years was a reasonable time spent, almost reaching the Pyrenees. After making the necessary arrangements for the town's submissions and their future governance, the conquest was followed by a period of several hundred years during which most of the Iberian Peninsula was known as Al-Andalus, dominated by Muslim rulers. Only a handful of new small Christian realms managed to reassert their authority across the faraway mountainous north of the peninsula.